Number four, pitch bends and false tones. So this is taking that idea of pitch bends to the next level. Right here, what we're doing is we're playing in each key down chromatically. We go five, six, five, bend down to four, and then we go five, three, one. Just this little pattern, this flow pattern, including that bent note in the middle. So now we're trying to think of this as a long tone, as a flexibility, and the pitch bend. And so we go down, go down, we go down. Once we get to low E, then we start needing to uh, use our pitch bends below the staff to get those low notes. So try to hear the note in your head before you play it. Make sure you're in the right position. You can use for like E flat, for D, D flat, you can use a flat version of that position, that regular position, or you can challenge yourself to do them all in seventh position because you can do them both ways. And so I recorded it doing it both ways. So you can check out and practice it both ways. Um, so seventh position for the alternates and also uh, using flat third for the E flat, flat fourth for the D, flat fifth for the D flat, and then you're kind of already at the end of the slide for those, for those last ones. And I challenge you to go all the way until you can pitch bend down to that pedal B flat, not in first position, but all the way out in seventh. They so were bending down. Again, don't play these too loud. Mezzo piano, mezzo forte, that's all we need. 